Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and I'm really excited. We have a super fun adventure today. We're here at the Cockrell Butterfly Center at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. So we're standing right outside of this incredible experience. All kinds of butterflies are right up there. Look, it even says right there, the journey begins upstairs. So what are we doing down here? Come on guys, let's go check it out. Wow, I just love, these walls are really colorful. I see a banana spider at the top of the stairs. That's exciting. Wait a second, there is a giant grasshopper up here. It's not real, so we don't have to be scared. Look at this thing. Wow, that is a huge grasshopper. Could you imagine if you encountered that guy out in the wild? Well, we wouldn't. This is a super sized one, but it looks really cool and it's fun to get to see all the different parts of a grasshopper's body. Wow, this shows what a spider's head looks like, how many eyes it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. Wow, you and I only have two of those. That's not fair, they have eight of them. Wow, I see a lot of really cool butterflies right here and I, get, I bet we'll even get to see some real ones. Ooh, this is fun. This is a little exhibit to test how good your eyes are. You're supposed to be able to find some bugs. Can you guys look through here and see any bugs? I see a butterfly or maybe a moth right there. Ooh, and then I see a beetle climbing on a branch. But wait a second, right below that beetle is another really big moth. Have you guys ever heard of a stick bug? There's a stick bug right on that stick. You see it? You know why they call it a stick bug? Because it looks just like a stick. There's another moth. Wow, these creatures are so well camouflaged and that really helps them because all of these bugs would be a really tasty treat to a bird, but they don't want to be eaten, right? And so they hide themselves in their environment so that birds can't find them. How cool is that? They have all kinds of bugs in here, like a giant jungle nymph. Look at that guy. A giant long-legged katydid. Look at that thing. That looks just like a leaf on a tree. That is insane. I mean, if that was hanging out in a tree, you really wouldn't see that guy. Wow, there's all kinds of critters in here. A giant prickly stick. Wow, it does look just like a prickly stick, doesn't it? Ew, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's right here for you. A dragon-headed Katie did right there. There's all kinds of critters to check out. Even though this is the butterfly exhibit, they have all kinds of bugs here because it's really fun to learn about the bugs and they do so much for the environment. I know they can be a little scary sometimes, but they're actually pretty harmless. Well, there are a few that can hurt you, but for the most part, they're pretty harmless and they do amazing things to help our ecosystem. Ew, ew, look at these guys. These are giant hissing cockroaches. They make all kinds of weird sound like Ew, You wouldn't want to find one of those in your kitchen, would you? Let's leave those guys alone. Wow, this is their wall they call Beetle Mania. They have all sorts of beetles here. Look at all these crazy beetles. Beetles range in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. They're really, really cool. Like, look at this guy right here. That's a huge beetle. That has a number six below it. So I'm gonna see what number six means. Oh, those are all scarab beetles right there. So all of these guys are known as scarabs. That is so cool. Some of these guys have such long wings. Ooh, I couldn't imagine if that guy was flying across the room at me. I would really be nervous. 
Although I know he can't hurt me, he's just really big and intimidating looking. Some of these have such great colors and they're shiny. So cool. Even more beetles, but look at this guy right here. A Hercules beetle. Look how long his nose is. That is crazy. Ew, this guy has like a weird long pincher. It looks like a crab, or, crab claw right on the front of him. Yikes. Ooh, right here they have something really cool. I, I'm just fascinated by these creatures. We've seen them a couple of times before. Look at that back there. That's a desert hairy scorpion. Now those actually have a stinger. You see that bulb on the back of his tail? You wouldn't want to get stung by that because it would hurt really badly. Ew, guys, look at that. A giant African millipede. That thing is humongous. I bet if it was stretched out from end to end, that would be over eight inches long. That thing is huge. And they have a ton of legs. Could you imagine just getting all, ooh. Ooh, I found a really cool tarantula that we can look at. That's a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. They're really fascinating creatures. Did you know that some people even keep them as pets? They're a little bit too scary for me. Have you guys ever seen a roach before? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them in there. I'm glad they're in there and not in our kitchen or somewhere, but ewe, look at the back back there, all over the spatulas and spoons. Ew. That's why we never leave a mess in the kitchen. We always clean up after ourselves and don't leave food lying around because these little creepy crawlers will sneak out there and try to eat up everything you leave behind and you don't want them in your house, right? Ooh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, that was a whole lot of fun. But now we're fixing to go right into the Rainforest Conservatory. We're gonna get to see butterflies, there's even some reptiles and really cool animals out here. Come on, let's go. Wow. Now it feels like a rainforest out here. It's pretty warm. Wow, guys, look at that butterfly right there. He's just hanging out on a leaf, having a great day. There's actually all kinds of butterflies all around us. Look at the one, oh, well, oh, that one's flapping his wings. He's taking off. Oh, guys, he's coming right here. All right, guys, well, that was just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much to see and do here, here in the simulated rainforest. I mean, did you know that we're standing right at the top of a waterfall right here? Look at this, there's the waterfall coming down. I can't even see where it goes, but if you look that way, you can see just tons of butterflies flying all around in here. This is so neat. I've never been to the rainforest before, Wow, and I just love all these different types of plants. Now, I'm not gonna touch them because I wouldn't want the oils in my hands to damage them in any way. But what an ornate, intricate plant right here. Look at all, it's got all these roots going all over the place. This is so cool. Oh, safety moment. Now, we're going down a lot of stairs. You always wanna maintain three points of contact when you're going downstairs. That means at least one foot on, one hand on the handrail and, a, and two feet on the ground. See, just like this, whoa, I had a butterfly whiz right by me. Here we are walking safely down the stairs, enjoying all these beautiful plants all around us. Look at these giant leaves. Wow, we are truly getting into the rainforest right now. This is so cool. Wow. Look right over here. You can see that waterfall so perfect up there. Wow, I could watch that all day. You know what? That sounds kind of like my sound machine I like to use when I go to sleep at night. These are so cool. Look at this very unique fern here. 
I mean, it's got all these spores on the underside of the leaves. Oh, and a butterfly hanging out right there. Wow, look at that guy. Wow, guys, there is just so much to look at and so many things to take in. I mean, everywhere I look, there's a different type of butterfly. Like on the very end of that leaf right there, there's a really pretty black and white butterfly. But it's hard to even focus on him because you look around and there's so many others fluttering around. They are everywhere. You know, they told me if you be really calm and really still and patient, you might even have a butterfly land right on you. How crazy is that? Look, here's a butterfly coming in for a little drink or snack here. Pretty active little fellow, isn't he? He's flapping his wings and saying, man, I just got to get hanging just right on this. I just can't get over the plants. I know we're here to talk about the butterflies, but just look at all these incredible plants. Wow, this guy has really big wings. Look at that guy. And that really unique pattern helps him camouflage here so not all the predators could find him. What a beautiful animal. And see if you notice, they have all these trays of fruit set out for them because butterflies absolutely love to eat sweet things. Wow, now here we go again, down another set of stairs. And what do we say? Three points of contact, hand on the handrail and two feet on the ground. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all these butterflies over here. Wow. I bet it's getting kind of loud because we're at the bottom of the waterfall now. Wow, you can even see this beautiful stream running down this cliff face. Come here, guys. I don't want to scare my little friend here, but look how beautiful that guy is sitting right there. You can get really close to them. Wow, guys, I just grabbed an actual butterfly from the Butterfly Flight School. They have a Butterfly Flight School here because this butterfly was actually just born today. He is brand new and he is ready to spread his wings and they're actually gonna let Cowboy Jack release this guy into the, the conservancy. Do you guys want to let him go with me? This is going to be really cool. Let's open it up and set this guy free. Oof, got to be careful. All right, buddy. I don't want to scare him, but wow, guys. He is absolutely beautiful. There he goes. <laughs> that was so much fun. And just like I said, that guy was just born today. That means he came out of his cocoon just today and they caught him in here so that we could release him and I could show you guys that. We just got to see him take his very first arm flaps, his very first time in flight. How cool was that? Wow, guys, look at how many amazing butterflies are on this one plant. They are all over this thing. That's a rose apple tree, so they must really like these rose apples. Wow, that guy's putting on a show with his wings. I love it. I love the show, buddy. Thanks for the free ticket. Look at this. We're supposed to keep an eye out for tagged butterflies. So some of the butterflies actually have a number on them, and they like to keep track of those guys to see how they're growing and flourishing here in the environment. Wow! I just almost got hit by a butterfly. These guys are all over the place. And this is a really cool, unique plant here. That, I don't know what that's called, but I just love the way it looks. Wow, look how pretty that guy is. And then look right here at this really bright orange guy.
This is so cool. I mean, there are literally butterflies all around us. So many, in fact, it's kind of making my head Hey, wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, let me put my hat back on. Let's go check out some more butterflies. Whoa, that guy almost got me. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? I mean, it literally feels like we're right in the middle of the Amazonian jungle or the rainforest right here. And we're actually in the heart of Houston, Texas. See, if you actually look out that window right there, you can see Herman Park in the distance. And we're here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science and we're just having an absolute blast here. And what you have to do when you're in this exhibit is keep your head on a swivel. I mean, you'd be looking up, down, all around because we are literally surrounded by all kinds of beautiful, amazing plants, animals, all kinds of stuff. I mean, look how tall the ceiling goes in here. That is really huge. And I'm sure you're seeing the sun right now, so that's probably not good. But look over there at the vast vines growing all over the place. And you see all these amazing butterflies just flying away. This is so cool. Wow, guys, look at that one. That is so cool. It's black wings, but then it has some hot pink on its tail feathers. How cool. Well, we all know butterflies don't have tail feathers, but that is a beautiful butterfly with that perfect accented pink on the back of it. That is so cool. Wow. Look at this guy. He had, woo, look out, Mr. Butterfly. Look at this guy in that really pretty orange. These guys are just in here living their best life. Here's another one hanging from the branch. If you didn't look really closely, you'd never see him because he blends in so well. He almost looks like he's made out of wood, doesn't he? Wow, guys, this guy landed right on my finger. This is so cool. We can get a really up close look at our little friend here. You guys think we ought to name him? Oh. I don't know what we could name this guy. How about Cowboy Sam? Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got another one. That's two butterflies hanging out on Cowboy Jack. Wow, right on my shirt sleeve. Now what you wanna do if they do land on you is just be really calm and still. These animals are so beautiful and majestic. Well, oh, that guy was scared. Now this guy landed on me thinking I was a tree branch because I was pretending like I was a tree being really still and calm. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back on a plant so he can enjoy the rest of his day. You guys say bye to Cowboy Sam. See you, Cowboy Sam. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, have we had an incredible time here at the Cockrell Butterfly Center at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I just absolutely love this rainforest scenario. We've had so much fun getting to meet some butterflies and see them fly around in their natural habitat. So I know I had a blast and I hope you did too. And I hope you come along with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. But until next time I see you, yee!